complete this part of the tutorial on the Series 70 from Miller. Uh, we have one hanging here that's been roped and set up. Again, there's a carabiner at the top and a swivel. And we have the backing plate, the drum assembly. Uh, down at the bottom, we have the pulley, the load side pulleys, where the passenger would be attached with the load. Um, there are three load side ropes. You can see them here, here, and here. This is the 1010, the upper mounted pulley on the bottom of the backing plate. And down here is the 1020. This is also known as a traveler pulley. Uh, there's a loop here where the rope is tied to a bolt. Um, this one happens to have two knots in the rope. Standard Miller procedure is to put an aluminum ferrule here where these knots are and uh, with uh, uh, a machine uh, clamp the rope tight with the ferrule. Um, notice that this uh, pulley has one shiv down here and this pulley up here has one shiv. Right here. I'll bring the camera up in a second and show it to you again. Here's the free side rope and here's the load side ropes. Notice there's three of them. That's where you get the three to one ratio. This is a, called a three to one ratio system. Let me come back up again to show you how the brake works. Once more, pull on the free side rope, which you can, by the way, go again, horizontal to lift vertically. Notice how the screws on the drum are now turning. Your load's coming up. You can see the lower pulley coming up a little bit. By the way, this pulley here, I couldn't really see it before, it has a, a single sheave here for the one strand of rope. Um, so, you uh, are rigged here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put the handle on, because that's extremely important. And I will tell you about the handle as I ready it to be put on. Here we have the handle now entering the frame. Uh, it is extruded aluminum. Um, here's the finger cushions here. On the handle itself has two levers, safety catch lever, and the rope release lever. Now in order to get the uh, handle open to put it on the rope, this by the way is the rope travel slot or loop, you swing down the safety catch lever, swing down the rope release lever, and you put your rope right inside the rope loops like so. And you'll release both levers and the rope is now attached to the handle. Um, this handle does not lock open, which you would not want with a system like this. If it can be locked open, it could uh, actually uh, fall off the rope, which you don't want either. Now let me zoom in here a little bit and lift this thing just a little bit here. Okay, now the way this handle works is you slide it up the rope to the drum. In order to do that, you hold below the rope loop with your one hand, with your right hand, and slide the handle with your left. Then with two hands you pull down. Notice the drum turning. Then when you want to do another lifting stroke, you hold under the handle and you handle, slide the handle up. Notice how the rope travel lever, that's right here, opens a little bit just by sliding the handle up. Now when you want to release the rope to let your load descend, you hold the rope travel lever open and then you hold the rope with your other hand 
And you can notice, I think, the rope moving now. You're doing descent. Okay, now the handle actually provides two services to the system. Number one, it's a grip for lifting. Number two, it's a tie-off. Now the tie-off is actually managed by this manyard here, this strap. It's approximately three feet long, and at the end of it is a snap. Now what you do with this is you attach this, if, you, if, it's, if it's a self-operator, in other words, if I'm using this myself, and I'm sitting in a bosun's chair, what I would do is I would attach this snap to the chair. Then, when I'm going up and down myself, uh, when I get to where I want to work, I can uh, slide the handle up, utilizing the length of the manyard, and then this becomes a, uh, a tie-off, so that you're, both your hands are free. Also, if you should get conked on the head uh, when you're doing self-operation, you would only descend the length of the manyard. It wouldn't be a free fall by any means. Um, the handle also, if it's, being, uh, if it's attached to an outside operator, you have the same safety precaution. If, it, um, um, if the handle is dropped and the guy gets incapacitated in some way, uh, you wouldn't lose the handle and you wouldn't lose the load. Now, inside of the rope travel lever, and I think you can see them now, there are several rows of teeth right here. Um, they make pressure, they make contact with the rope and apply pressure to it. Um, they are, have rounded points on them, so they don't dig into the rope, they don't tear at the rope, they don't damage the rope in any way. They just squeeze it. So again, you swing the safety.